go. Shalom Alekim. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High Elohim Yahuwah through His Son Yahushua. It's Uncle K. You already know what time it is and you already know how we coming, man. Before we get to the video, like the video, comment down below, share the content too. And if you're not a supporter, become a supporter right now. I just advise you to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Now let's get into the video. You know, I'm seeing a couple comments in the comment section where there's men that have relapsed. You know, and this is not the season to relapse. And I'm a man just like you. I'm a man just like you. So I'm going to give you some tips. All right, you got to have your head down and you got to keep moving. You got to have your head down and you have to keep on movement. I don't care about the hiccups because we get hiccups all the time. We get involved in scenarios and situations that we did not plan on our own. We did not willingly step into this field to fall short. We did not. A lot of us did not. But shame on you if you just willingly gave off your energy because you know how vital it is right now, all right? There's a couple more months left in the year. And with these last couple of months, you need to hold on for dear life. Every day, you have to have abundance on your mindset. And that's throughout the day. Everything you have to do has to be based off abundance. With your conversations, it has to be with abundance. With your lifestyle, you have to be gaining something in abundance. All right, gentlemen, I know we all read books, but today is a day of abundance. We must read and apply ourselves and get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, that's just one book that I'm taking my time reading right now. But there's more things that we have to crush. And I'm also reading my scriptures. Y'all already know. Woke up this morning, read Psalms 15. Tap into Psalms 15. All right. You have to have that abundance mindset. All right. This is the season now where we have to stockpile so we can reap those fruits in the summer. And I feel like it's the same aspect too. Because in the summer, we're still planting seeds and then we're reaping them in the winter time as well too. It's just like your physique. All season round, you're training, you're gaining muscle, you're gaining density in your muscles as well too. You're getting hypertrophy, you know, you're getting size on you. And you wanna keep that. You don't wanna stop training. So it's the same aspect when you get on semen retention because we all have the knowledge. We can't sit down and say, you know, the urges are getting too strong for me. The urges are getting too strong for me. I did a thousand squats yesterday, a thousand squats. And I'm gonna keep it 100. I never banged out a thousand squats a day in my life in one day, I never did. But I woke up that morning and I said, I wanna do some squats. And I did some squats. I went to the gym, I threw 205 on my back and I banged out 40. But other than that, everything was body weights. So I did a thousand squats all in general and 500 push-ups yesterday. And I feel it in my chest. I'm warmed up for my upper body split routine. You know, I hit the upper body, then I hit the lower body, and then I switch it up. Upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower. That's my routine right now. I gotta remember for myself, that's what I like doing when I train. I like tapping every body part, but sometimes when I get in the gym, I switch it up because my mind is still in abundance. However, I feel in a logic way, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna utilize that properly. But you cannot be a man every time you wake up and you're in an emotion. You're in emotion. You're in a, an emotional state. There's nothing wrong with a man that has emotion. Let's get that corrected right now. There's not, there's nothing wrong with a man that has emotion. But the type of emotion I'm talking about is the emotion to 
cultivate your energy in one area and then release it. All right. Because me speaking as a man, I done, man, I done got emotional by myself a lot of times. You know, times where in the past when I felt short and I was weeping. You know, even moments when I'm thankful, I'm weeping. You know, I'm just content and happy that I'm still here. But you cannot be waking up in the morning and the first thing you're thinking about is I need to find a way how to let off this energy in a, in a negative way. Because this energy can be utilized to improve your life. And I hope you're listening to what I'm saying. This energy can be used to improve your life. All right. You may not have a million dollars, but you want to feel like a million dollars. You want to be that. You want to be that that image that when people see you, they see money. They see success. They see prosperity. They see the image of the most high. That's how you want to feel. You know, sex, sex is OK. Sex is meant for procreating. Now, if it's with your wife, it's the same thing. I don't rec I don't recommend, you know, tapping, tapping at your wife and not releasing all the time, you know, because then you're going to get bit and then eventually you're going to relapse. So even with my lady, I don't do that as well, too. It's either I'm in it or I'm not. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of affection, a little hug, a little kiss, a little massage, a little grope, a little touch. That's cool. But when it comes to, you know, getting active in that field, getting the beak wet. Nah, we, we can't we can't be doing that because that's controversial to the journey. It's either you're going to have sex and procreate or you're not. So for y'all gentlemen too, it's the same aspect. When you guys start realizing that this fluid is a creative fluid and you waste it, you're not creating nothing. All right, you're just creating a mess. You know, you're not even supposed to see the seminal fluid. You're not supposed to see it, all right? And it's a horrible thing that we've been programmed that releasing it is a good feeling. You know what I'm saying? It's a good feeling. It's it feels good when you release. It feels good. Well, guess what? It felt good when I did a thousand squats yesterday. It felt good that I did 500 push-ups. And it feel good that I'm making this video right now before I go start my day, before I go hit the gym. You feel what I'm saying? You have to have abundance on your mind. You cannot be sitting down thinking too deep about the things that you can't control. All right? You can't. You're going to make it harder on yourself. You have to wake up full of that strength, full of that testosterone. Ready to do the things that's going to take you to the next level. Doing things that's going to increase your value. Because we know it's difficult out here. We know. We know the women are walking around here looking a certain type of way. Now, if women are advertising themselves that kind of way, in a sense, you must understand that they're selling sex. So when somebody's selling sex with the two eyes, come on, you got to have discernment. A lot of women would say, yeah, I don't sleep around, but I'm focusing on myself. But at the same time, still advertising your body on a sexual market, taking videos, taking photos, coming out, looking promiscuous. It's the same aspect. You know, sex sells and sex is free. Sex it's cheaper than water. Water is more expensive than sex. Literally. Water is more expensive than sex. And we talking that BPA water, that high quality water, that water that's from the source. When you get that water that's from the source, like a mountain valley, that costs almost like $4. You're getting $3 for the liter. $3.99 for a liter. But you can get out, you can waste your energy for free out here. Look how that look how that sound, right? That sound crazy, right? Water is more expensive than sex. So gentlemen, with this all being said, you have to keep your head down and stay focused. All right? Because not every ass is a good ass, literally. Not every good ass is a good ass. And it's at this point you can't take you can't take somebody that's in that that energy realm and that spirit of a harlot and then just randomly change it into a righteous woman. 
That's why the man, you must realize that you are the prize and you must understand that they gotta flock to you. All right, so you're not supposed to be sitting down with your chair all back like this, with your phone in your hand, doing something you ain't supposed to be doing. I don't wanna be seeing any of that. I don't wanna be hearing any of that. I know this is all about accountability and I really appreciate you guys for letting me know about you know your downfalls, but come on, gentlemen, we got the knowledge. We gotta apply the knowledge because it's not like the woman strapped you down in the chair and you know took advantage of you. You took advantage of yourself. This journey is all about self-control and self-mastery. And self-mastery will take a specific amount of time, but you must be down for the ride. You must be down for the battles. You must be down for the course, man. You must be down for war. Because it's a war, 24-7, 365. It's not a war against man and woman. It's a war against the things that's influencing the nature. You see, everyone is under an influence. And if your influence is of the most high, then you're of the most high. If your influence is of the world, then you're of the world. You hear what I'm telling you? So don't be influenced by the world. There's people in the world that can definitely give you some concrete knowledge, but you still got to be wise and eat the meat and spit out the bones. All right. We don't chew the bones. All right. So, gentlemen, remember, when you wake up in the morning, it's all about strength. All right. The most high is over everything. The most high is over us. We can go directly to the source through his son now. So make sure you apply that. All right. All praise to the Most High Yahuwah through His Son Yahusha. For all the strength and all the glory, all praise to the Most High. He give us everything we need, man. Everything. Tap into the Father. Get that strength. Let's go. Shalom Alekim. Peace be upon you, man. It's your brother, Uncle K. You already know what time it is and you already know how we coming. Before we leave the video, like the video comment down below share the content too and if you're not a supporter become a supporter right now i just advise you to tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend ah! shalom and peace